What's your husband's name again? Well, actually, he is my mate. We never your mate, were sorry. sorry. Uh, C. Yeah, yeah, no. Fraser. C. Del Fraser. Now, the, 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 uh, now, what's he? What's it? So you never. So your name is last name, not Fraser, then. No, I kept my own name. What's your name? Cunningham. Cunningham. What's your first name? Phyllis Cunningham. And where are your I people from? My people are from Minnesota. Ah, okay. Well, how did you get to New York? So before you, so what school did you graduate from? Did you? This is early in the 60s. Now you, early 60s. You know, yeah. Now you said you met your husband yeah. when, when, through SNCC or where? Where did where, where, where you meet your husband? I mean, actually, your mate? Where did you meet your mate? Well, I, I met him in Selma, Alabama. Mm -hmm. He came down with uh, Mr. Fraser and Mrs. Fraser and Gerald was working for the New York Times and Gerald was working with the Daily News. As a reporter? Yes, as a reporter. No, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He came down as a reporter then? Yes, as okay. a reporter. He came down to see uh, what's, how Selma was, had been affected by the uh, Selma to Montgomery March earlier that year. So that must have been, you know, he, he, he came down the same year the Selma to Montgomery March. And that's where I met him. Mm -hmm. And uh, he invited me to come to New York. and. Uh, Eventually, uh, I hooked up with him in New York because I was um, went with at the request of Jim Foreman to go and to take care of Ruby Dora Smith Robinson, who was in a hospital mm. in New York. So when you say Jim Foreman, we're talking about James Foreman, head of James Foreman of Smith. Yeah. 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 So I went up to New York, and anyway, Okay, so the, but you, so you, was, you, you was doing nursing in New York, or were you just doing that privately? No, I came because I was a nurse, and so they wanted somebody to guard over a Ruby Dora Smith Robinson who was in the hospital, and they, you know, were not sure that he, they were maybe she was getting the right treatment. Who is I, she? Who is I don't know. Ruby Dora Smith Robinson, who, who was this treasurer uh, for the Student Environment Coordinating Committee mm -hmm. of. of um, Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. And she she subsequently died of this life disclosure in mm. probably uh, mm, probably uh, a couple years after. Okay, you, you know when I come back, we gotta have a longer conversation. So let's let's just skip uh, skip the years, and so you you and your mate hanging out together, and then he's he's part of the jazz scene. How's what, what's his lineage? Where does he come from? His father is from father is from Guyana. South America. Yeah, yeah. And his mother was straight. Mm -hmm. And he was born in uh, Boston. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but he became a reporter for the Daily News, and then you mean, so, so, so what? So, so then what happened? What happened now? Let's I mean, just fast forward a little bit, because I we'll, we'll we'll do we'll do the other years some other time. But I just need to know. Now he wrote a book though. What, how was he that? Wrote a book okay. About the military. This whole time, how many years was it? Oh, I would say maybe 15 years. Okay, okay. So he's still writing it now, or what happened? No, no, he's dead. Oh, when, when did he pass? He died in 2015. 
Okay, okay. Prostate Okay, so so, but he's written this book. Is it's oh, it's completed already, or what? Yes, it, it, it needs a lot of editing. Uh, it does need a lot of editing, and, uh, and uh, there were people who promised that they would, friends of his, who promised to edit it and take care of it. Yeah, but we know how that goes. But it did go. It was submitted to the University of Mississippi. Actually, Charlene Hunter Gold, who is a good friend of uh, Gerald's, uh, took it to the University of Georgia first, where she had her books published, and they said, no, no. Goes to the University of Illinois, went to the University of Illinois, and they said, no, no, Mississippi is looking for um, article on books on jazz musicians, black jazz musicians, and so we went there. And it took a long time. They had it for a number of years before they finally got uh, people to evaluate it. And I, I suppose they were probably academics in, in, in the world from the into jazz. And they said, yeah. Why is your, um, did you call your husband Jerry? Huh? Did you call your husband Jerry? Yeah, no, no. What was it, Gerald? Gerald. Was Gerald friends with uh, Charlene? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. So yeah. I want I want okay. just to get to know what's the book about. The yeah. book is about Mel Jackson. Primarily the, about scene, right? the vibro, the vibro. Oh, okay. And uh, Gerald also felt that nothing had he said nothing had ever been written on the vibro, the history of the vibro. Mm -hmm. And that's in the book. And also the problems that black uh, black jazz musicians had during the 40s and the 50s, and even before that, but mm -hmm. only from Milt's perspective, mm -hmm. uh, to you know, get there, to get, first of all, to get heard, second of all, to get the money for what they did, third, to get uh, uh, credit for the songs or the music that they wrote, etc., you know, all that. And um, that's, yeah. that, that's what the book's about. It's more than about Bill Jackson. Yeah, and so he interviewed 38 jazz musicians, most of them are dead now, uh, about Bill Jackson and about you know the problems uh, that they encountered when they were trying to uh, practice. Perform their music. Okay, well, we, this is it. Got to be short, but, but believe me, I, I come back uh, in August. We're gonna have some conversations. <laughs> okay. So, I, I do have copyright. Yeah. But I, I don't mean about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But this one. Yeah. But I also have involved his wife. Okay. Because I think Sandy Jackson. I think very important to him. She involved in this because she can validate, and she has been part, so much a part of. It. Family yeah. Okay, so Phil, thank you very much for talking to me. Thank you for and we'll, asking. All right, we'll see you soon. Okay.